With me now is Christoph Thonberger, executive publisher of Taipan. Christoph, we've been talking about the commodities bubble and whether we're at the top, but people are also concerned whether or not the Feds are going to raise rates, leave them as is, or lower. What is your take on the situation? Well, Sandy, my money is on the Fed not raising rates next week, and I give you two very good reasons okay, for Okay, let's hear them. Well, number one, I believe the Fed is in the business of setting the economic mood. It, its purpose is to be proactive and not reactive. I believe not raising rates uh, in, in the last cycle already has set the general mood for the rest of the year. Any reaction to uh, current inflation, to uh, productivity data, to um, uh, anything else would be interpreted as a sign of the Fed not knowing what they should do, uh, of being reactive to uh, uh, the, the stream of daily news. And I believe that is a, is a perception that the Fed is not uh, uh, willing to create right now with a new uh, uh, helmsman uh, in charge at this point. The second reason um, is inflation itself. Yes, we have seen increased uh, labor costs. Yes, we have seen uh, lowered productivity as a result. But I believe the deflationary tendencies of the global economy and also the deflationary effects of the U.S. Uh, housing market and its de current decline uh, will work together to really keep inflation in check. Uh, my money uh, is, again, uh, on uh, the Fed re retaining the current uh, rate level next week. Okay, well, that would be great news for uh, the housing market. And as you said, you think that it's uh, in a downturn. Is that right? I believe the, the uh, U.S. housing market uh, is played out as a bubble vehicle, as an investment vehicle. I believe there is going to be a constant demand for housing, probably going to be picking up in, the, in around uh, 207, 208, 209, when uh, the echo boom starts uh, leaving uh, the, the parental homes and heading for universities. Um, parents are now uh, more likely, uh, believe it or not, to buy, buy their kids a, a house to live in uh, while they're attending college um, than having them uh, live in dormitories. Um, however, in the short term, I believe the, the uh, housing will uh, continue to stagnate, if not decline, in most markets. Um, this will uh, create good news for inflation. Uh, number one, every house that is not being built right now means 400 pounds of copper not being used. That means a, uh, uh, just among, among the commodities that are being used. There's lumber not being used. There's all the ingredients that go into making a house uh, will experience uh, uh, drops in demand, which will eventually work its way down into lower prices. Lower prices mean lower inflation. Um, same goes for, for the labor market. Okay, now you've mentioned lower inflation. Now, typically, when we talk about inflation, we'll even mention the word inflation, gold comes up. So let's talk about gold for just a minute. What's your take on the gold market? Well, if you followed the market this uh, past week, you uh, just saw another uh, very uh, stomach-churning uh, drop in, in gold prices, if you were yes, a we gold did. investor. Uh, again, uh, last time I checked today, uh, it was in the, uh, in the high uh, 580s uh, per ounce of, of gold. Um, uh, I, I believe American investors have a, a, a somewhat distorted attitude toward gold, especially those what investors that we like to call gold bugs. Uh, there is a certain mythical quality about gold that they perceive that very few other investors in the world perceive. Um, let's not forget, gold is a commodity like pork bellies, like uh, lumber, like frozen orange juice concentrate. Uh, it follows the, the laws of supply and demand. Um, I so believe the, So with, if it follows a, the law of supply and demand, then the, the price of gold is going to fluctuate. The price of gold is going to fluctuate. And, uh, and so it, are you recommending that investors not be invested in gold? What, I believe you should, you should look at gold as a speculative commodity. So you don't see it as a long-term investment? I don't see it as a long-term investment. And here's actually one thing that I consider an apocalyptic horseman for gold. I just opened a, a gold newsletter 
uh, uh, yesterday and saw the, old, uh, the, the author use the subhead that says, gold is not a long-term uh, long investment. That is like uh, uh, Bill Ford going uh, uh, on, on television saying the, the red Mustang convertible is only constructed and built for middle-aged men in a mid midlife crisis. That's there may be truth to that. Good analogy <laughs> on that. But Christoph, we're getting near the end of our segment, so let me just ask you a couple of questions. What are you recommending investors do? If gold is not a long-term investment, what do you suggest they do? If you want to play in gold, I believe you need to uh, play it on the options markets. Uh, use a long-term GOX put option. Uh, leave, your, leave some room for, for upside speculation uh, with, with call options. Uh, if you want to invest in gold, look at select uh, numismatics, rare coins, uh, where you have a little bit of a buffer in the rarity uh, element of that particular asset. That's great. Thank you so much, Christoph. Oh, we really you. appreciate your comments. Thank you.